Hey, Warrior Moms, and this message comes to us from Vanessa. Vanessa, uh, Vanessa's native language is Spanish. She's from Colombia. Um, she can read and comprehend English, but I guess she wanted to express this in Spanish. Um, so Facebook translated it for me. So I'm going to read it as she wrote it, just so that um, we can all kind of get a full understanding of how she's feeling and then maybe see uh, if I can support her around her question. So it says, hello, I am Colombian and my husband is Turkish. So English is not our mother tongue, but then good thing uh, that Facebook does good translations. I understand and speak English, but when it comes to expressing feelings, I want to do it with my heart and not with my head. I'm so scared, depressed. Sometimes I feel a tightness in my chest, a knot in my throat. I'm very sad and I don't care if I will be judged by what I will say, but this is a bad dream, a nightmare. I do not want my son to be autistic. I do not want my son to be anything but normal because I don't think I could be able to help him because it's a challenge to raise even a normal child. So forget about a child with special needs. It breaks my soul into a thousand pieces to see my son next to other kids his age. I feel like he's missing out on everything. He'd be happier if he could be here now connected. Um, Vanessa, this what you're going through right now, what you're feeling is, first off, this totally sucks. It totally sucks to be in this club. I kind of call it like a club because I feel like nobody, uh, parents of typical children uh, don't really understand how this feels. When you, We all had expectations when we were pregnant that we were going to have a healthy baby that was going to have this uh, future with unlimited possibilities. And then when this happens, when this kind of comes crashing down on us that our child is different and that they're going to need more support or, uh, you know, they have autism, it just kind of, it is at first feels like this just living nightmare. Like, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to navigate this? When my daughter was diagnosed, I had a three month old uh, baby boy. I was worried about him too. I didn't know if this meant if she had it, that he was going to have it. It was just, um, the feelings you're feeling now are, are completely understandable and really um, part of the process. I want to just say though, and you know, it, it may be hard to hear this right now if he's just been newly diagnosed and you're struggling um, with what you've heard or what you've been dealing with with his behaviors, but um, autism does not mean this has to define the child. When, and I understand where you're coming from. When this happened to us, I was angry. I was so angry at God. I was angry at myself, angry at these people. I felt uh, sorry for myself. I felt sorry for my, my girl. I was wondering what kind of life she was going to live. Is, it, would it be even a life worth living? I mean, I had such crazy thoughts that kind of just ran through my head. And, uh, you know, first off, you know, it, it is, it's normal to have these feelings, but it, it's also important that we process it. And the reason why that's important is that one, it's not, obviously not healthy just carry around these negative feelings and not do anything with them or not just cycle through it. But uh, the other reason is, is that it's blocking you from taking action. The job of being a mother is still, is still an obligation. It was what we signed up for and nothing really has changed in that department. What has changed is maybe the expectation of what we thought mothering this child was going to look like. But your job as a mother is more important now than ever before because autism is a spectrum you have options here this isn't cancer and i i just really want this to hit home for all the mothers that are struggling or that are just like how feeling exactly like vanessa's feeling it's normal to feel that way but you need to get through this you need to push through it process these emotions and get to work mama your job didn't change it's just it's just a little bit of a different job and um, this is not terminal we can work with this you can potentially have a child that lives a very good life we our job by the end of the day one of the things that really snapped me out of this thinking was that I'm gonna die one day and I don't want to die knowing that I left some left some on the table you know what I mean? I want to make sure I gave it everything I got as her mom to give her the best opportunity at a ha at the happiest life possible. 
And if I'm wrapped in my own emotions and fear story and anger and just these negative emotions not taking action, I'm not being that mom that I promised her that I would be when she was in my stomach. So um, th once I had that thought, I kind of snapped out of this and snapped into action and said, you know what? It's not really for her that I'm moving forward and I'm going to give this everything I got. It's for me because I want to know when my head hits the pillow at night that I gave her everything I had. I didn't leave anything at, anything on the table when it came to what, what services she could get, what care I could provide her. And it really just helped me to have a, a different perspective in the relationship I have with her. You know, my relationship with her is very different than my son's and I actually cherish it because it's it's her form of communication, it's her form uh, of love. And it's different than what maybe my son would express, but that's okay, it's still, it's still valuable and she's gonna be great. And I went from looking at her future and marks in complete blank space to now where I actually see her holding a job you know, having her own place, um, taking care of herself, something I, I didn't even know it would be possible. But had I not gotten out of that space of all these negative emotions and, and feelings around this, I would not have been able to have a chance at what she has now. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there. And I have a son too. My son is, is developing typically. I actually... The way I do it, so because she does get a lot of attention, she needs a lot of, you know, she needs a lot of support. I always included him in the, when the teachers came. I always said to said to him and her, I said, well, the teachers are here for both of you, you know, even though the teachers were really here for her. I've always, Cody's always been a part of the equation and social skills are something that's quite common to be a deficit for a child on the spectrum. So having him involved encourages that goal and then he feels love and attention too. So we do the best we can. This is, you know, this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to define anything other than this is still my child. I'm still this child's mother. This is the journey, even though it's not the one that I expected, but we're still gonna work towards um, raising happy, healthy children. So I know this is so hard, Vanessa. I hope you can translate this somehow because I'm talking and I guess I'll type this out for you too. But um, for any of the other moms that are struggling with the emotions that Vanessa is having, I get it. I hope this was helpful. If anyone has any comments uh, or, or, or questions, just post them below and I'll be happy to uh, respond. Thank you, everybody.